Hey, yo, Cop Bizzle. Let me holler at you real quick. Let me let, 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 let me let me talk to you real quick, all right? Because for too many years, I've seen you pull the same stunt where you say you're going to leave YouTube and you're going to quit and you're never coming back and blah, 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 and then boom, next year you pop up on the scene, all right? Seen it way too many times. Although this year it's a little curious because you're kind of doing it towards like the last third of the season and the Giants are winning and usually you only pull this stunt when the Giants are doing shitty, just to throw a pity party for yourself. So let me say this. I would be doing myself a huge disservice if I didn't extend the olive branch to you and say that if this is genuinely your last year on YouTube, genuinely, no bullshit, I have a ticket for you right next to me. Lincoln Financial Field. When the Giants come down to play the Eagles at the link, tailgate with me. I got a ticket for you, man. Because if this is genuinely your last year, I want you to take that drive up from whatever hillbilly hick town you're from and come sit next to your boy E-Rock and watch a little Eagles Giants. Only if this is the last ride. This is me extending the olive branch to you. All right? I genuinely want to come and see Cop Izzle at the tailgate, sit next to him, win or lose, hear that woo! right in my ear if they lose and eat the ultimate cop pizzle crow all right i mean it if this is your last year i'm paying for the ticket it's my ticket season tickets all right you come sit next to me lincoln financial field holler at me think about it all right peace you in a drink <laughs> you know because if we're gonna talk business drinks are always good for business it's what I've always learned you know baby doll mm -hmm. I've been dominating the TTC and the YouTube landscape for over nine years Mm -hmm. I've been telling Eagle fans and Redskin fans and Cowboy fans where they can fucking stick it. Okay? And not only not only that, but two of those years, my team proved to be the best team in all of football. So, Scott Pitzel says, hey, it's time for me to go dominate something else. So here I am with one foot out the door, and what do they do? Come piss off! You ain't going anywhere. Get your ass back in here. <laughs> I think it's a love-hate relationship. I really do. <laughs> yeah. So my old friend E-Rock in Philly. E-Rock! My old friend... Mr. E. Rock in Philadelphia proposes this deal. Right, this, this, this excellent business deal, right? Now, mind you, he has quite a few people that say, Oh, it's just old Cop Pizzle pulling one of his stunts. Mind you, baby doll, half these people can't even run their own damn lives. How the hell are they going to run Cop Pizzles? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But E-Rock says, E-Rock gives me choices. Mm -hmm. E-Rock's a good businessman. I'll give him that. Any man that gives you choices, that's good That's good business. Right? All right. He says, look, Cop Pizzle, you can sit in the comfort of your own home and watch the Giants and Eagles play one another on Thursday night football. Color rush game, too, mind you, baby doll. Mm -hmm. They're going to have some pretty uniforms on. You can you can stay there in the comfort of your own home, do your own little thing, whatever it is that you do. Or, since you're going out on top, <laughs> <laughs> since you're going out, why don't you come to Philadelphia, Rockies Town, right? Mm -hmm. 
Now why don't you watch the game with me? Mm -hmm. Think about that, baby doll. It goes one or two ways. Either I go up there and watch the Giants get a big Thursday night win. And I can tell all the Philadelphia Eagle fans in person, like I've been telling for nine years on YouTube, where they can stick it. I can celebrate. Or, baby doll, I can fly my ass up there, possibly watch the Giants lose in person, and instead of having to read the comments about how shitty we were, I got to listen to it in my ear. Live and in person. Shit! That would be bad for business. These are options. Choices. Maybe I don't think you can make a choice like this. Just, just like that. I don't think you can do that. No. I think something like this, you gotta, you gotta let it, let it sit on you for a minute. Almost like you gotta sleep on it. Mm -hmm. Almost like you gotta eat a turkey or something over it. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Mm -hmm. E-Rock, can I interest you in another drink? Here's what I'm going to do, baby doll. All right. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to think about it for the next few days. Okay. I'm going to think about it Thursday. Mm-hmm. I'm going to think about it Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mull it over on Saturday. I'm going to watch the Giants whoop the Cleveland Browns' ass and think about it some more on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then when Monday rolls around, I'm going to give E-Rock my answer. Okay. You think that's, you think that's a good decision? You I think feel like that's fair. Is that, is that uh, be, me being responsible? Yeah. I mean, think about this for a minute, baby. Now, think about this. E-Rod might know something that I don't know here. I gotta read the contract. Right? You remember you remember Apollo Creed, right? Yeah. He looked down at the damn names. And he said, I want that one. I want the Italian stallion. Because yeah, I like that. that. That sounds like a good name. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know what he was getting himself into. No. Nope. Maybe I don't know. See, I'm a lot like Apollo Creed. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll see you Monday. Iraq, hey, can I interest you in another drink before we go? Mm. 